Okay, what's up, Boulder Gado? Welcome to another episode. I hope you guys are having a great time. Today is an extremely special day. We are in Cebu for a rock climbing trip. It's my first time climbing here in Cebu and I'm accompanied by the local members of the Cebu rock climbing community. It's definitely gonna be exciting. If you're new in this channel, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more climbing content. Join me as I explore the beautiful crag of Cantabaco in Toledo City here in Cebu. Let's go! So I just arrived here at the Cebu airport. There are a lot of international and local flights here. Uptown on the road, I've been around the floor. Rooftops, sliding doors, just wanna know you more. I hope you wanna be a song. Going to Toledo City will take you around 1 hour and 30 minutes from Cebu City. So in our case, I rented a taxi. But if you want to go there by bus, you can take one at the South Terminal Station going to Toledo. And then you drop at Lutopan. From Lutopan, you have to take a Habal Habal ride. So this is like a motorcycle. Now another option is to ride a van from the Vihar Terminal. So this van passes directly through Cantabaco. <laughs> Hi Boulder Kada, I'm from I'm Adrian I'm from Cebu. And this is my homeland. Right now we're staying at Ari Ateoli's place. It's oh, a sort can. of hostel mm -hmm. for climbing here in Cebu. Mm -hmm. um, this is hosted by the Parans, Mam Yolanda and Sir Glenn Paran. They have it rented here overnight stay. Um, mm -hmm. Usually you'd pay around 200 pesos per night for the stay. For the stay. Huh? We're on the second floor and mm -hmm. these are the rooms. There are four rooms here. Yeah. yeah so these so, are the rooms. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, then. There's a, a bunk bed. Mm -hmm. Don't read an AC actually, it's really cold at night here even uh, if it's summer so oh, don't really have to worry okay. about that one so, toilet. and shower room na rin, no? yeah the kitchen is below me oh. that's it if you put Cebu in a geographical location, we are currently in the south of Cebu and this is the area here behind me is Cantabaco. We are in the, in the area of Toledo City. There are two crags here which is Cantabaco and Poog. This is the most heavily trafficked climbing areas in Cebu because of the ease of accessibility and the access to facilities like food, water and accommodation. In Cantabaco, we have five areas. In Poog, we have also a main area but there are also three different walls that are a few minutes trek away from each other. Other. The styles of climbing here in this area is quite varied from very easy to hard. Fog is much better suited for um, beginners because there's a really dedicated wall for beginners there. Going to the central part of Cebu from Busay, there's an, an hour trip going into Mansarela, Monsterella, and Patagbao. In Monsterella, you have tufa climbing on roofs nearby a river. In Mansarela, it's a white wall cliff that's just straight up face climbing. Tagbao climbing is also nearby a waterfall. The up north, we also have a secret area there called than now it's a two to three hour trip from the city but it's a good area for that was developed by Algin Amores and his friends back starting 2015 2016 so lastly we also have our bouldering area in in dreamland in Liloan it's also north just halfway between Cebu and the now and we also do have some prospects for um, deep water solos in Camotes Island just near Danao and we also haven't explored but Gato Island in Malapascua is also a place for deep water solos. So Boulder Kada, don't forget to bring your rock climbing equipment here when going outdoors. So you may check out the wide variety of items you can get at Decathlon. So check any of their branches, no? So isa-isa natin yung, yung items sa dalako. We have our helmet. So yeah, no? Uh, of course, very important uh, for safety. We also have our harness. So, you can maybe show the Simon. And my pants. Uh, these are rock climbing pants. So Simon too. Yeah, Simon. And of course, my Simon rock climbing shoes. There. Okay. Thank you, Decathlon. Okay, so guys, we just arrived in the crack here in Cantabaco. No? Yeah, Doc Adrian, yeah. maybe you could give an overview of the area behind you. This is one of the first sections of Cantabaco. We have area 2 here and area 1 on the on the brownish area. Mm -hmm. um, these are the relatively easy routes here. Mm -hmm. We have around 5 easy routes for the beginners especially. Mm -hmm. And 
at the same time, aside from the first pitches, uh -huh. this is where the second pitches or the multi pitches have. Mm. We have three pitches here. If you can see above the trees, then uh -huh. the white areas would be the multi pitch areas of, of Cantaba. Uh, yeah. How many areas do we have here in the We Kandaba? have a total of six areas. Mm -hmm. We have area zero on a different section. Mm -hmm. You have to cross the spring. Area one, two, three, four, and five. Mm -hmm. So it's just really one continuous crag mm -hmm. that goes up. This, this is area three. Oh, yeah. So it's also a mix of good roots like 510, 58. Mm -hmm. This is where most people gather, area mm -hmm. three. It's one of the heavy traffic mm -hmm. routes mm -hmm. here in Cantabaco. From where I am, uh -oh. going down, the steep descent here would be area 4. Mm -hmm. It's a very type of different climbing also. We have two paths. The holds okay. don't look good. Eh? Yeah, they are. <laughs> and it's gonna get much worse when you go up on the last <laughs> section. Yeah. Okay, there. Oh, yeah. So area 4, you know. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, this is our guidebook. Uh -huh. This is our first iteration of our guidebook. Uh, do you ship this abroad or? Uh, yeah, we can ship this abroad. This costs around twenty dollars or uh -huh. thousand pesos uh -huh. for for review. Can you like demonstrate? How can we like check the routes over there? So can you show us a sample? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. We're looking oh, at area a... two right now. So... Here, this is the area where we are. Mm -hmm. And it reflects the, the crag above. Mm -hmm. So we are in area 2. No? So this yeah. is area 2, A2, you can see. Huh? Right. And this is the, the big hole. Road. This one, the big hole that you can oh, see. Oh, there. Yeah. And you can just simply follow the... Oh, there. That's it. No, no, no. The bolts. Mm -hmm. there are, obviously, there are more bolts now that compared to mm -hmm. when we made the guidebook. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to make an update on it. Yeah, but, but at least this is a good start yeah. starting point now yeah, for those sure. who are interested. Uh, and also the guide to the multi pitch, you can see that uh, from yeah. the foliage, you can mm -hmm. see above mm -hmm. the direction where you're going to the anchors mm -hmm. and into the to the upper section. The upper section, yeah. yeah. So we're in area two. So Hi, sir, dudes. Enjoy. Hi. Hello. Anong paborito niyo crag? Dito sa kanta. Kanta. Bakit? Bakit? Bakit dito? Uh, so maraming route saka mas matataas kung pair siya po. Ikaw dyan, saan anong favorite mo? Same right. din dito. <laughs> Yun, maraming routes tas challenging. Mm. Thank you. Okay, let's go. When I'm on my bed Slow me down when I'm living fast
Among all the crags that you mentioned earlier, no? which one's your favorite and why? So between the pocket walls of Paog and the amazing roots and heights of the Nao, I'd be biased to say that this would be my favorite crag in Catabaco, mm. especially Area 5. Mm. This is where I began my climbing journey. Mm. This is where I learned my techniques, mm. <laughs> the slippery footholds in Area 5. Mm. This is also I conquered all my demons in climbing ah. here in Catabaco, <laughs> so definitely Area 5 would be my favorite okay, climbing man. place. Yeah. Just to ano, encourage people to meet the members of the CRCC, uh -huh. no? So, what's the best part of being a member? You know, the community is composed of people from different walks of life, different mm -hmm. passions, mm -hmm. and different experiences mm -hmm. and expertise as well. And what comes down is that we, we share the same, same passion and language for climbing. And because of that, we're able to work hand in hand in different ways. And we have a team of bolters to maintain and find new areas for climbing in Cebu. Mm -hmm. We have also people who take care of the social media. Mm -hmm. We also have people who help with the training and improvement of the athletes. And we also have people who just come here and enjoy the climbing. So at the end of the day, in one big table, we just meet and talk up and, and share food with beer. And that's it. That's it. Very that's a really nice. good thing about yeah. it. Looking forward to that. What are the next climbing developments here in Cebu? Okay. Since last year, we've been developing um, new crags in the area. For example, in Pog, there's this wall called Meteor Wall, which we have we've started to bolt. It's a steep overhang rock. We also have a, a new rock that's that was bolted by Escaño in Pog. So there are many developments there. So this year, we're looking into going back to Mansarela and Monsterella. We haven't touched the holds there since the pandemic, and we are looking into rebolting the first three clips because they were all stolen by the locals. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, so the clue, what's this? I'll zoom in. Then. So the ball that you see there is called a wave ball. Wave ball? The yeah, wave ball. Oh. Wave. It's a glue in for your drill and then you put the glue inside mm -hmm. and then you stick the, the ball there. Mm -hmm. Compared to this one when you have to... This one's a different ball. No? Ah. So this is different. This is easier to remove and that's why in Mansarela, uh -huh. you're planning to replace the lower section with the wave ball switch. And we have to rebolt them, make them safe, as well as looking into the accessibility of accommodation, transportation, and food for the people who wants to go there. And after that, we're going to go back to, to Liloan, to the Dreamland boulders, and try to clean some yeah. routes, make sure the FAs are already there, and even um, consolidate everything because we're on the process of completing our second version of the guidebook mm -hmm. so hopefully we can finish it by the end of the year also yeah lastly also hopefully by June or July this year a new bouldering gym will be opening in Central Block Ayala that would be in IT Park a very accessible place to go it's in a mall it's called Rock On you can find the Rock On page on Facebook already but it's not yet open they're still teasing things hopefully we'll see you there Hi Boulder Gada <laughs> oh, how's your Cebu experience? Or? We were in Kintabago four months ago. Mm. I have an unfinished project, Vina. So next time, hopefully. Okay, so when do you plan on climbing it again? <laughs> when I have money. <laughs> next year. Hello Kitty. Hi. I miss... I've only been to Kintabago and Paul. Kintabago is super fun because there's so much you can do there. This trip, sadly, we were too lazy to climb. Mm -hmm. yeah. We just went to the beach. Oh, okay, thank you so much, Doc Adrian. Grabe for today, guys. Sobrang. This video was impossible without him. Thank you so much, Doc. So make sure to follow the Cebu Rock Climbing Community. I'll put the links in the description below. Ayan. So guys, if you want to climb here in Cebu, contact Doc Adrian or any member of the... CRCC. I may reach out to yeah. the CRCC. Okay, thanks, Doc. Bye. 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 Hey, Boulder Kada again. Um, if you, by any chance, decide to go outdoors and sport, do sport climbing, Cebu is one of the best places in the Philippines to, to come. Um, you can enjoy climbing here and on your rest time, free time, you can also go to the beach and Mual Boal and other, other resorts here to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you get to visit Cebu uh, here in the beautiful crag of Cantabaco and also in Pook and other areas as mentioned by Doc Adrian. So there guys, uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.